Okay, everyone, we're going to do a reading here, looking at practical matters first, 9th of January. Then we'll move into love and romance with the red deck. Let's see. Show me practical matters for January 9th. We had a new moon in the sign of Capricorn on the 11th of this month. Two of Wands in a couple of days here. Let's see. Hangman. This could be something you're not changing your mind about it yet. Something isn't satisfactory, but you're letting it be for a little bit with the two of wands and the hangman. You're focused in a different direction. You're not going to linger here is what I'm getting with this here. But you'll be, you'll be, you're just not going to linger there like that is what I'm getting with this. Six of Cups. This is something regarding the past is the Nine of Pentacles. The four pinnacles, you're seeing a lot of things differently. You had the ace of cups, the empress here, two of cups, this two of swords goes here. This two of swords with this two of wands and this hangman is you see things the way that you see them and that's it like that, okay? And there's no change in your mind with the two of swords. And that two of wands could be that, okay, that, that's the end of discussion. That's it. Oh, that's how you see it. That hangman could be about having your light bulb moment and needing to see it like that where you change your mind and you're not open to anything other than that and, and then what you change your mind to and from like that okay this is a change of perspective okay and you're leaving it there in that new perspective okay that's the way you see it now that could be something else but then and there's no swaying you now then over here romantically some of you could be communicating with someone you had this emperor here the emperor you had a two of cups so this is somebody where the feelings are mutual the ace of cups here there's love that spreads love shown The Six of Cups shows there's pleasantry between you and the person. You're the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles energy is here. The Four of Pentacles is here also. Open. Strength. Been in a position of power. Eight of Wands is here with the star. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. I feel that you're you're in some type of position of <clears throat> of empowerment with this. Um, strength card and you had a star so the star means that something is totally up to you
then then nine of pentacles is here as if some type of communication comes in or some type of offer and then she has her head turned in the opposite direction so you could be turning away from a lot not open to much is the nine of pentacles but invest it maybe elsewhere is what i'm getting Or, or invest it. The eight of pentacles is fully invested, but is it could be differently is what I'm getting with this. And feeling good about it. Those of you that have been waiting to hear some type of communication, eight of wands, there it is. You had a nine of pentacles in here again, three of pentacles in work, something being brought to your attention. Those of you that work, this is something being brought to your attention. You could be the decision maker or making decisions. Two people bringing something to your attention to see what you're going to do with it, what you're going to say about it. Yes, no, maybe. Some of you have a position of leadership. That would be you on the bench. Six of Wands, being around Soul Tribe, very confident. This is very confident with the Six of Wands here. But this is with the Nine of Pentacles. And Chariot, Four of Wands. Empress, Emperor. Now, this discussion here, this could be some of you with this Emperor back here. It could be your husband, the four wands, married, communication, eight of wands, two of cups, feelings mutual. This could be about agreement. Or something you weren't open to before, you're open to now. Or something you were open to before, you're not open to now. The Four of Pentacles. Something within the relationship, not the relationship itself, is something with that, that could be happening within a relationship. With this Star card and the Nine of Pentacles showing up a lot, especially with the Nine of Pentacles with the Six of Wands, it could be somebody that is married. The Emperor and the Empress is Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Those are usually married people traditionally married people it would be and then if four wives they could be maybe this could be some type of part now the pinnacles is giving me a lot especially with the sister wives combination in the star maybe a um party or a housewarming party keeps coming up it could be something like that it is in agreement with something or wanting something before and maintaining that, holding that position, but not wanting that now like that, okay? And releasing that position. Is that wanting something done differently with the Three of Pentacles? And then you had the Emperor and the Empress coming up together. Where the emperor is okay with that. Okay, yeah. Or the empress is okay with that. Okay, yeah. Like that. Because the nine of pentacles energy showing up here twice. It shows that this person is accustomed to getting things how they want. These are people that are accustomed to being catered to. Getting things what they want. How they want it. With the nine of pentacles. And the six of wands. Confident outcome going in their favor with the six of wands. appeasement nine of pentacles is this type of person but they come with the emperor and the empress so they're in a relationship in a committed real relationship and they're getting something their way or it was just going to go their way anyway and then it's like um now time to focus on that like that okay and now they tell the emperor well i don't want it the way that i wanted it initially i want it like this or the way or i want it 
the way you wanted it initially. Or now I want it not like that. I want it the way like this way. Okay, is that okay? And then they're moving forward, and that's how it's gonna be done. Okay, that's that with the emperor here. And the emperor is here twice with the two of cups, agreeing, feelings are mutual, understanding. But it's the emperor. The emperor could be also, because he comes up here twice, it could be about him changing his mind about how he wanted something, because he comes up here twice. Let's like let's redesign something or something like that with the three of pentacles. It could be like let's redesign something. It would take more than the emperor and the empress doing it. They could be telling somebody how they want it done, okay? And then the somebody's are showing them for the yes or no, the yeah or nay answer or what needs to be changed. Because it's a three of pentacles, like that. So it would be okay. It could be the emperor that is saying, well, initially I wanted things to go like this, that, and the other. But now, I guess time has passed, and I I don't know why. And, and I want to go like this, that, and that, like that. Okay. And the emperor would have his reasons. The empress would be in agreement with the reasons. But the empress comes with the, the empress's energy is the nine of pentacles and the six of wands. So it would be about, I guess... The Empress um, changing his own mind or coming up with a different way, it works well for her like that, even though she's the Nine of Pentacles here. As it may be either way would have worked well for her, as long as she's getting her way. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands. And then this is obviously she is. Or she sees her way being gotten in each way like that, because it is the Emperor and the Empress like that. So, And these doesn't don't have to be... Um, important things because the nine of pentacles is here so it could be things that are important to her but not important to hell us like that it could be because this is about comfort this is a different type of energy it could be something like planning a party and wanting this that and that there okay it's important to her okay we don't give a shit uh wanting that and wanting that 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 like that and it look like that and it be like that it's the nine of pentacles is that is what they feel like it from and then they have a husband is that so let's move on okay so and i'm gonna let another spread here and then we'll move on to love and romance and, but because it's the emperor the emperor has to come to his own conclusions because the emperor so he's not going to be swayed and, and I feel that the Empress would know the Empress, so she wouldn't have been trying to sway him. He just comes to it by himself like that. Two of Cups. Show me what is going on here practically. Hangman, Magician, Hermit, Ace of Pentacles. This could be accounting. This could be underwriting also with the Hermit and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody could have made a major purchase or sell. But having to wait for something with the Hangman, maybe a signature. This could be contractual agreements also with the Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Cups is the actual agreement. Other you, this could be a job, raise, promotion. You had a um, Hermit is the sixth house job. Ace of Pentacles could be raise, promotion, those types of things. Hermit also could be human resources. The hey man, you were waiting to hear something. Okay, here it is. You were waiting or they were waiting or hell, both of you were waiting with the hey man and the Two of Cups. Okay, and then you're getting the communication, you're getting the news. The chariot, you're happy with it, you're moving on. That's what you get there very quickly. Well, 
once the ball starts rolling, it's very quickly. There she is again with the nine of pentacles. Once the ball starts rolling, it's very quickly. As a six of wands, happy. That's done with the two of wands. Okay, now moving forward. This could be something that is... This, this is somebody that holds... That could... I was about to say holds back for what they want. Or there's only one way they move forward. There is the hyphen. These two come as a package deal. Hyphen, nine of pentacles. And then we have the two of cups. Again, this could be something completely different. Now, choice of options regarding something else. Ace of cups. Okay. This is about what makes one feel good. Two of Cups and agreeing with that, having choice and options open up that caused that to happen. That's the Ace of Pentacles. Um, that's the Ace of Pentacles hyphen with the Nine of Pentacles. Some type of appeasement is expected and granted when this hyphen shows up for this Nine of Pentacles here. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Wands. And then Happy with the Six of Wands. That's two different scenarios there. So. Let's move on to Love and Romance. Show me Love and Romance. Ninth of January. Seven of Swords. Ten of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Now, some of you have someone that they're going to try to get in good with you. They, they, they feel that you think that they've been deceptive. And this is the Ten of Cups making it up to you this is romantically they're gonna attempt to this is an attempt this is an attempt damage control this is with really the six of cups regarding the past some of you is a king of pentacles the earth sign capricorn virgo Taurus, or it could be a cancer it could be a, a, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, a Virgo, or it could be a Cancer, or it could be a Pisces. Is it making an attempt? Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They don't want to lose you. I don't feel that this is a relationship. I don't feel that this is a committed relationship. The four of cups, you didn't know because there's rejection and all of that here. This is not a committed relationship. This is maybe, I don't know what type of relationship. It will be, it's not a relationship. Okay, let's see. Not a, even though this is a romantic situation, but it's like, it's not a relationship. It's not an official relationship. Mm-mm. Night of Wands. Maybe, and there's an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So is not an fit. You got an air sign and an earth sign. So some of you, this person can have air and earth in their chart or... Some of you is an air sign, sometimes some of you is an earth sign, sometimes person. They don't want to lose you with this eight of cups. And they can feel that you're consecutively rejecting them because of the past, six of cups. Or somebody come, came back from your past. 
making some type of have you don't even know to see the attempts that they're making it's like the eight of pentacles you're you you do not even pay the damn attempts are like just, you don't even feel you know so you may not even have noticed this person yet so this is what it is here romantically somebody's gonna come back from your past or they've come back from your past and they before they come back they feel that you or they know that you should or they feel that you should or they know that you should because the, the king of swords they know that you should look at them as a liar okay and they think that they'll have to make it up to you okay so they come back you don't even notice okay or Cause this the four cups is rejecting, but it's after the person, or they or they come back. And they come back and they feel that or know that any attempt they're gonna make, you will take it as half-hearted. It's somebody that misses you. Some of you is a Virgo, others of you is an air sign. They come back to you with the full energy, with like fresh and new and clean, or ready to move forward with you. Maybe that's how they come with the Ace of Pentacles. They feel that you're going to put up a fight. Okay, this is what it is. This is somebody that's coming back into your life with the Six of Cups that may have thought they were more important than they actually are and think that whatever happened between you two that you're still hung up on it and hung up on them. Because I feel that with these half-hearted attempts, it could be not half-hearted. It may be just that you're not paying attention to them. Or that could be what they're thinking or what they're going to think or that could be what's going to happen. I don't know. Because I feel somebody's energy as I've gotten over that and I've gotten over you like that. That's what I'm feeling with this Four of Cups rejection. The Four of Cups is crowning the Six of Cups. The Four of Cups is like maybe um, rejecting the past or has gotten over the past. And this fool could be about having had gotten over the past and moved on. Is what I'm getting. Let's see. Show me this air sign. Some of you are air sign and an earth sign are divorced or divorcing, going their separate ways. Yeah, the four ones, but it's an air sign and an earth sign. Maybe an air sign female and an earth sign man. Empress, yeah, okay. Or it could be hell, an air sign. Man on the earth sign, female. It could be that. And, and somebody, uh, the man is trying to talk and she's not open. See, a divorce. Air sign with a Taurus or air sign with a Virgo. Air sign with a Capricorn or something like that. They could have a child. So they can have a child. Ace of Pentacles, somebody could be um they could be wanting to start over. So these, whoever these people are, they're people that you, they know, or it's a person that knows that you're going to be closed to them, closed down to them or something. 
not open to them. Somebody has, this is somebody's baby's mother. Because this is a child. Maybe a fire sign child, a child from a fire sign. This is the mother. They, he, this air sign man used to be married. Used to be married before. There's a new beginning on the table. He used to be married. He's not, but I don't know what happened, but he feels that you're not open to him anymore. This somebody used to be in a committed relation, in a marriage, but they're divorced. We divorced, King of Swords, divorce. So this is about people that not dating and all of that or sexing is married people, okay, that are divorced or it's people that are not in real relationships. Is that... Single people or divorced people is that is what is here. Now let's see this King of Pentacles. Decisions with the lovers. Magician. Somebody already made a decision in the past. Because you had that Six of Cups here. This, this is about the past. Somebody already made a decision in the, in the past. So it's about with these lovers and the magician. So they want to revitalize with the magician. A decision that they made in the past. It's a king of pentacles like that. He's an earth sign. Sun sign person. And, and it's like wanting to revitalize something. Bring something back. Uh, but the decision... Uh, it could be wanting to go back on a decision. It could be that. Or wanting to now make a decision. It could be that. Nine of Cups. That's coming in talking. Six of Cups is regarding the past. Four of Cups. About. He, he wants to talk about why he rejected an offer. Four of Cups. And he expects to be rejected when he comes with the cup. Or he wants to talk about why he rejected an offer, or or and he also expects to be rejected. You with this King of Pentacles, you may say, okay, since you left, I've been with three other men. Okay, you might feel that okay, th these men are feeling that they're more important than they were. Is what I'm getting. Or that life stopped when you stop dealing with them. Is what I'm getting. But they're about to find out no. Okay, somebody can have a child from this King of Pentacles. It's an earth sign child, a child of an earth sign, or they just could be single. Like that is what I'm getting. Then you had a King of Cups. So those you dealing with the water sign, they're here also. He has a lot of people around him, especially if you're an air sign female, sun sign, and you're dealing with a water sign man, a Pisces, sun sign, most specifically, or then a Cancer, then a Scorpio, less. It could be bickering, a competition. These could be exes also. Exes meaning that they've been married, now they're legally divorced. They're legally divorced. Or they've been, or they have children with people. Because these are about real relationships, but exes. Let me explain what I mean by real relationship. Meaning that you went to the courthouse and you got married or you were married in a church. Okay. But now you're divorced, okay? That type of relationship, a real relationship. But the ex, and or some of them, they have children. So it was a real relationship. They have children. Okay, these king of cops with a queen of swords female. These here, they're bickering. Conflict. Pettiness. Is is it could be pettiness. Could could a water sign. The water sign. Eight of Wands communication. The water sign could be holding a grudge. 
the man. Yeah, he would be holding a grudge because he was betrayed by this queen of swords. She's doing holding the sword and these are the swords. Judgment. Queen of cups, but he's already moved on. He's already in another relationship. Or he's going into a new relationship. A commitment. And it's judgment. He, he may have been betrayed by this queen of swords. Remember, these are not you all that are single. These are people that have been in real relationships. Or they have children with the parents. He was betrayed. This king of cups was. By this queen of swords. Sun signed queen of swords. Sun signed king of cups. He judges her. I don't know what she did, but it's the ten of swords. He was betrayed behind the back. Maybe cheated on or something. He's moved on into another relationship. They're talking because they have children. These are children, but this is conflict. The Queen of Swords may have something to say about his new partner. He has something to say about her betrayal. Is that that's what we have here? Okay, we went into next time. That's the reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.